Shum Diwali, my lovelies. It is the festival of lights, and I thought we can make something sweet. Let's make gulab jamun, or as we say, fat kumar. Now, I know there's a lot of sweets around this time, but I just chose to do this simple one with you today. So let's get started. I have some all-purpose flour. We're going to use some nice spices. So I have some cardamom. A very unique spice in my opinion, but I love using it even outside of the season. So I have some of this. We have some cinnamon powder. Just about that. Now this recipe takes a little time to prepare. There's a little bit of a process, but I promise you, it's as usual, it's worth it. Some fresh ginger. If you don't have access to fresh ginger and you can get ginger powder, that works fine as well. And I have some powdered milk. Your choice of powdered milk. It's just a little bit, but it makes quite the difference. So I'm just gonna mix all the dry ingredients together at first. Combine those. This. Perfect. Now I have some chilled butter that I'm going to, as we say, cut into the flour. So for this you need clean hands because I'm going to show you a method that will make your gulab jamun nice and light inside. So I have my butter. I'm just going to cut into pieces and drop it in. Cut, cut, cut. Perfect. Now what we do is, just like this, this is the motion that you're looking for. You're just going to squeeze and lift the butter into the flour mixture, like this. What you're looking to get here is a crumbly consistency. This takes a little time, but be patient, it happens. So you're not actually kneading this particular um, dough recipe just being very nice and light. Another thing that I like to do is to bring a little flour in between my hands and kind of go around and rub it in like this. So a little bit up and rub around like this. So this we do until a crumbly consistency is formed. All right, so nice and crumbly and smelling good. Now we're going to add some condensed milk. Give this a gentle stir, like this, and then we're going to add some evaporated milk. Now, what is going to form here is a sticky dough. You don't want it to be too stiff, and it may look like it won't form, but give it a little time and continue to mix. I promise you, it will come in. And we are just going to mix this until a sticky dough forms and we let it sit for 30 minutes. Okay, so 30 minutes has gone by. Our dough took a little nap. Now I'm going to form my almond shape desserts now with the dough and then we're going to fry them up. So I just want to gently grease with a little bit of mel melted butter my tray. So I'm going to form all of them and then we'll assemble and fry. I'm going to do just a little bit of vegetable oil on my hand just to make the process a little smoother. Now I like to measure everything so we get some nice consistency but you can eyeball it if you feel safe to do so. So I do what they call a generous teaspoon. And first I make a circle like this, and then I put my hands in a V, and I go down, and then up, like this, down, and you get a nice little gulab. <laughs> All right, of course the size is up to you if you want to do them bigger, just pay attention to the different cook times, but I like these because you just want a little snack. And we lay them down like this, Generous teaspoon, tablespoon, sorry. Round. If you do them fast, you can also get some help with this. It is for everyone to enjoy. So, 
if you can get the family involved then everybody can partake in the desserts fast. Okay, my lovelies, time to fry up our gulab jamun. We have some vegetable oil, medium to low heat. This takes a while to cook, so we can't have the oil too hot. Otherwise, it's gonna get really dark in color and the inside will be raw, basically. All right, so make sure that your setup is right. I have my little mesh apparatus, I don't know what it's called to be honest, to make sure that we can scoop our stuff out of the oil and I have a bowl that I'm going to put my finished product in. Now we don't want to crowd the pan and please be gentle when you put this in and lay it away from you. It's a nice slow sizzle, take your time. And I'm starting to the top here and going around like this so that I know which one was first because you may have to give it a little turn from time to time, right? So we want to be nice and organized with the cooking, right? Golden brown is the color that we're looking for today. All right, so we're gonna let these fry up. When they get a little brown on the edges, you flip them over, get the other side to get its color, and then we throw it into the bowl. Of course, we need to do a syrup tip for the top of these lovely desserts. So let's fry these up. Okay, golden brown, and the house smells amazing. So we're gonna get these out and into our bowl. Now it's gonna come out just a little soft and as it cools, the outside is going to get a little harder and the inside is gonna be nice and cakey. The next step is for us to make our sugar coating for the outside. Of course, this won't be complete with the sugar and it's a very simple sugar recipe. We're going to start with some water first. Let's season up this water with a stick of cinnamon some ginger I'm going to do some cardamom powder if you have the seeds you can use the seeds as well about three there we go nice low heat to simmer because what you're looking for is a syrup like consistency that smells amazing already so now we're going to do our sugar and we go in. This is going to be just enough sugar to coat all of our little snacks. All right, that is perfect. Give this a little stir. Make sure everything is mixed in. All right, and you're looking for, of course, a slow drip, so like right now, it's runny, and as you cook this and let it simmer down, it's going to become very thick. I will show you what that consistency looks like in a bit. Now this is a little bit of sweat, but we made it. This is what you're looking for. Nice, bubbly consistency at the top, slow bubbles, and you want that string of sugar like this. So our sugar is ready, very simple. Pour it into the gulab jamun and give it stir until, and stir it until it kind of cools down. Now, we do have a powdered sugar option, and this is just for my family because they love powdered sugar, so I do both. So we pour while it's nice and warm. I leave my cinnamon in there. Take this off the heat and you just stir, stir and coat. So I go into the bottom and bring them up and across and around and you keep stirring until the sugar cools and it's going to crystallize and then you sprinkle with your powdered sugar. All right, so let's get this cooled down and then we get to taste some. My lovelies, if you've ever been to the market around Diwali time, you would see all the traditional snacks piled up high on these tables and covered in clear plastic. That's one of my favorite memories about getting ready for Diwali. I try a little thing here, but my stack is not so high. Anyway. If you tried this recipe, be sure to tag me in your videos and your pictures. I really enjoy seeing your content. Like, follow, and subscribe. Check out the website for more recipes. And as always, I had a fun, fun time cooking with you today. 
Shub Diwali, wishing you all the best, you, your family, your friends. Have a great holiday, guys. Bye.